So Catherine, tell us what the Idaho Falls Downtown Development Corporation is. The biggest thing we do is we manage the business improvement district for the city of Idaho Falls. Mm -hmm. So there is a business improvement district that is the core of downtown Idaho Falls and all of those property owners pay a small uh, assessment on their properties and that generates about $80,000 in income that we then manage and reinvest back into the downtown. We um, do street improvements, we um, do beautification, so we've got new planter boxes, new pots, yeah, we've got beautiful. beautiful flowers in them, and um, we do public art. We've, we've got uh, a whole bunch of public art projects happening. We also host events. Uh, the, the purpose is to draw people downtown, so we've got events both for adults and then we have children-focused events too. We were just downtown yesterday. We came down for the dry bar comedy. Yes, and at the deck. It was so amazing. So awesome, right? The, it, that's yeah. an amazing space. Isn't that beautiful? The space can be used for weddings, for um, you know, comedy events like that, mm -hmm. for corporate functions, for meetings. It's it's set up to work for anything under the sun. Yeah. There's restaurants on downtown that I didn't even know were there. Yeah. They're kind of tucked in and yeah. it was really neat. And lots of people out on the street, even on a rainy night. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like we didn't know about the um, little ice cream shop. Yes. Next yep. to the center Pops theater. Ice cream? Yes. yes. Yeah. Pachangas is, is a great story. They started over in a small location on Capitol, moved to a location on uh, B Street right across from Civitan Plaza, and now own their, their location on A Street. So it's a wonderful cool. story yeah. of kind of going from, I think, literally four tabletops to now, is pro you probably see 30 or 50 tables in there. I'm not exactly sure. But um, that's a really neat kind of story of, of how they've done. And the Celt, just around the corner as well, I mean, I think if we could pinpoint some of the, the things that really helped get downtown going, you know, look at the Celt and the renovation of that space and the high quality food and drink and experiences you can have there, but also Villa Coffee House, just this little coffee house that has turned into a staple for downtown. Isn't there a new Indian restaurant as well? Cardamom. Did that just start? Yes. Cardamom is at the location of B and Park Avenue mm -hmm. in the old Pachangas location. Mm -hmm. Wonderful Indian food. Yeah. Just and it's it's uh, they have a lot of dishes that you might not find in other Indian restaurants, and it's all kind of locally sourced. So they're buying all their meat local and their veg vegetables, and it's delicious yeah. and very glamorous experience. Yeah. You've got Snakebite downtown, which has been a staple of downtown for. 20 plus years. And then Krunk Thep is across the street from our office. Probably the most popular Thai Best restaurant. Best Thai food ever, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. And so it's, it's really fun. There's amazing shopping downtown. So if you, for instance, I think a lot of folks would be surprised to find what they could find downtown. You'll, you'll find the brands that you would, would normally find at like a Nordstrom in Salt Lake City. So you've got Lynn's uh, Baby uh, and Bags on a Street, they've got uh, Rebecca Miskoff, they've got Hobo, a whole bunch of really high-end kind of yoga clothes. San Michelle also carries Hobo's handbags, all sorts of vintage wares, um, very high-end sweaters. Mm -hmm. Johnny Weir is one of the brands that she carries mm -hmm. that you'll find at Nordstrom and others. Um, it's just wonderful because you have kind of a one-of-a-kind piece. Mm -hmm. And then if you continue wandering around, you'll find Nostalgic Boutique, um, which their motto is uh, beautiful clothes for a beautiful soul. So when you pop in there, uh, Gwendolyn is the shop owner. She makes you feel amazing about yourself and then will help you find clothes that also make you feel amazing. And she carries a wide variety of sizes and pricing and just beautiful like boutique finds. Mm -hmm. So that's a wonderful place to go. Also world-famous Jimmy's anglers. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got people that travel literally from all over the world to go in there and talk to Jimmy about where to fly fish and buy all their equipment. And then we've got great consignment options too, Lily's and Lily's too. I mean, wonderful. You, I can't even believe the clothing that you'll find in those stores. So wonderful, wonderful shopping. And our goal really, we're slowly going to get there, uh, it, but we need to become a 24-hour downtown. So you can come downtown at any time and you've got not, not, you know, wild activity, but you've got, you can grab something to eat, you can get a drink, you can, you know, people are living downtown. I mean, we're really, we're really getting there. Just come downtown and just walk around. I mean, any time of day, you're going to be surprised at what you find. And the food is fantastic. I keep saying, I think some of the, well, and I will not say some, but all of the best food is here downtown. And you can grab anything from light to a full dinner. 
activities down here are so fun. So I think people just need to get out and just walk and walk the streets and just see what you find because yeah. you'll be surprised. So downtownidolefalls.com is our website and then we also have a Facebook page, um, Idol Falls Downtown Development. We're on there constantly and then we have Instagram for IFDDC. So we're not on Twitter uh, yet, but, but we do have those two social media websites. So Perfect. yeah. Great.